My name is James Barman and welcome to the historic medieval market town of Ludlow in Shropshire. Here along the Welsh marshes stands the medieval town of Ludlow in the heart of Shropshire. In this ancient town a castle was built to defend the border and subdue the local Anglo-Saxon population. The Norman overlords, known as the de Lacey family, built what we know today as Ludlow Castle, whilst at the same time developing a new settlement that was to grow in time to become the medieval market town of Ludlow. From the year of 1233 AD, the walls of the town were constructive, effectively fortifying the whole town. Today many of these walls remain in place and it's possible to still see the scars of where lean-to buildings once stood. I decided to pay a visit here to Ludlow today to see this historic medieval market town for myself and to take you on a virtual tour of Ludlow Castle. As well as looking around the castle we will also take a visit to the ancient church of St Lawrence standing here in Ludlow for over 800 years before we move on to see for ourselves the magnificent Stokesy Castle, one of the finest and best preserved 45 medieval manor houses in England constructed in the 13th century and standing just six miles away from Ludlow and just off the main Ludlow Road. Construction of this castle took place in the 11th century as a stronghold, a border stronghold, by Robert de Lacey. But it was in the 14th century when Roger Mortimer constructed this castle into a magnificent palace. But later, under the ownership of Richard, Duke of York, the castle became involved in the War of Roses. But it was in the year of 1501 when Prince Arthur, brother of Henry VIII, was to honeymoon here with his wife Catherine of Aragon. Unfortunately, Prince Arthur was to die young. It was here between the years of 1525 to 1528 that Mary Tudor spent three winters here at Ludlow Castle. The keep here at Ludlow Castle was originally a Norman gatehouse before it was enlarged during the 12th century to become a huge gatehouse keep. During the 13th century, two further walls were constructed to enclose this corner of the inner bailey. The North Range here at Ludlow Castle have some of the most impressive medieval domestic buildings in Britain today. Originally started in the 1280s onwards by Peter de Jeanville, it was finally finished by the 14th century. The range was constructed against the original Norman curtain wall and consists of a great hall and domestic wings. During the 16th century, many of the apartments were modernised with new fireplaces being fitted. The Round Chapel here at Ludlow is a stunning structure of Norman origin, being one of just a few to be found in Britain. It was dedicated to St Mary Magdalene and this particular building, it originally had a square chancel. In later centuries, the chapel was remodelled and at the same time it had a first floor added.
If you're looking for a wonderful medieval castle to visit, then why not visit Ludlow Castle here in Shropshire? Standing today in Ludlow is the church dedicated to St Lawrence. The building has its origins in the reconstruction of 1199 AD. By the 15th century, somewhere between 1433 to 1471, rebuilding took place on a massive scale. It was at this time that the magnificent tower was also constructed. The chancel was constructed between 1433 and 1447. At the eastern end of the chancel is the high altar with its richly carved altar screen. The screen predates the 15th century but was restored during the 19th century. Here in St Lawrence's Church we find 32 stalls all with hinged seats and each one with wonderful carvings of images associated with 15th century life. Known as mercy seats or misery cords, occupants of these seats could rest upright during prolonged periods of worship. Here at St Lawrence's Church can also be found many memorials, epigies and monuments from centuries past and a visit to Ludlow should always include a visit here to see these splendid carvings for yourself.
Well, you join me here today at Stokesy Castle, one of the finest fortified houses in England and based in the village of Stokesy in Shropshire. It was largely built in its present form in the late 13th century by Lawrence de Ludlow. Today Stokesy stands on the remains of an earlier castle once built and founded by the de Lacy family. Well, I have to say the last three days here in Shropshire have been a wonderful journey back into history, visiting St. Lawrence's Church in Ludlow, Ludlow Castle, and today here at Stokesy Castle and the Church of St. John the Baptist. Why not join me again soon as we take more travels across England to look at the history that surrounds us.